Hello and welcome back to Vampire. My name is Usser. I'm gonna try and go do some of these side quests because I'm borderline underleveled here. I don't really want to go around murdering innocent people because I don't want to make a place sicker. But I'm gonna have to do something because even this district I'm in here downgraded a little bit. I talked to a whole bunch of people though, so like people should pop up with names now. I just need to find the unhealthy ones and fix them. Wait, Dr. Waverly? Has fatigue? Let's see if I can't fix that. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Wa Tell me, Waverly. Strickland. Are you thinking? Harvey Fit. And are you not a rivalry? Why? I strongly but. If you are going to lead this circuit... I'm not the kind of man who runs... I don't know how to... Like... I can see you're fatigued. How can I fix that? Do I have... Thank you for your time. Maybe you I don't have... It. A cure for fatigue. No. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go look for a fatigue cure. Try and craft a few and see if I can heal some of these people because the the area I'm in here, this home area, has gotten a little bit lower on the disease rating. We need to cure a few things. Well, I've got a lot of treatments for fatigue. Let's go out and see if we can help some people here. That's what doctors do, right? And then I'll go do some detective work and figure out the cause of death. There we go. You are... Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see now you. I got it. You hold down the right trigger, then you hit the right button. Okay. That makes sense. Now if I could just get this guy to come back out of here. Aha. Excuse me. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical at the proxim? Don't take ten to that. Goodbye, okay. Mr. Chidala. Would have been nice if I would have treated people for their diseases like during my downtime between episodes, that probably would have been a good idea. Alright, Doc. I'm hey. quite Do you need my Doc? Then you I wish that Thank you. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. Healthy. There's so many people who have fatigue. And I was helping none of them. I'm a bad doctor. Like, that's almost as bad as if I was running around sucking their blood and killing them. Like, that that's the level of badness I was. I should probably just go talk to Dr. Swansea while I'm here. But I need to figure out the cause of death because a secondary quest or side quest would really be helpful. Dr. Swansea... Can you be a little bit less chipper about the fact that I'm a vampire? Evening. That'd be appreciated. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak. But I have something important to tell you. Oh, what is it? This strain of flu. It's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? Because it is. I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Is that not enough? Um. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly yeah. aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation, 
Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. Hello. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. Well, I mean, he already Jonathan, knows that. Jonathan, we have a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I'm gonna be the guinea pig? I admit it did occur to me. Hmm. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I, totally I could turn agree. everybody into my We're thrall. in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. Because if they consume no, my blood, you, they turn into a vampire. But as I said, but... I needed to talk to you. Okay. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. Yeah, I know. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. I killed her. I mean, I know she's dead. But it wasn't necessarily my fault. Come on now. Don't blame me, people. It wasn't necessarily my fault. I mean, I was a freshly turned vampire who I never needed I would blood. Have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Well, I give up. Was going to try and do that quest, but I cannot figure out how to get there. There's a wall in the way, and there's no, like, I guess you would call them jump points or something. Warp points for me to take care of anything. Oh, come on. Don't be like that, guys. Hi. Are you okay? You don't look okay. You hear nothing. Come on. Bite. Arr, yum, 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 yum. So apparently I have to... Really? I don't know what happened, officer. I didn't see anything. My dear sister. I don't know if I have the strength. I mean, we could get the strength. We just need to kill a few more humans. Careful, the endangered citizen might not survive the next night. Go check on him. Where? Who? What? Where are we even talking? I don't... I hear a skull. Somebody help! Oh! That's the endangered citizen. Yeah, they aren't going to survive the next night because the skulls will probably just rip the damn door open. Ow! Alright, loot him. Hey. You're safe now. You gonna say something? Are you alright, miss? I... I don't know. Who were those people? They, they... They wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem for to now. know a lot about them, sir. I'm I killed them. Reed. I'm investigating this disease. What do you mean, I for now? Caution. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I'm sorry, could I you must go to the say that now? name again? Goodbye. Shaoshin? Alright. Back to what I was supposed to be doing. How many are there? How can you hold a funeral like this?
I mean, seriously, there's so many dead people. How can you hold a funeral in these kind of conditions? Where's the funeral director? Oh my god. I got way off course, somehow. I guess there's less bad guys if you go the right way. Who would have thought? Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Okay. Well... Oh. Up we go. I mean, you wouldn't be revealing yourself to your mother. You'd just be, oh, well, I guess the I guy the would pull out a cross. And and I would flinch and wince in pain. Dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Is that from the grave you just we dug, or is that just a bunch of mercy, crap that you left lying father. around? Because I don't appreciate the disrespect for my sister and we commit that I her body to the bit ground. and killed. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, <laughs> dust to dust. Sorry, Ma. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god awful place? Kind of my fault, These but also the not my fault. Requirements for the epidemic, oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> feel for her. At her age, she's probably not going to survive this loss. Like, that's just going to be the thing that eats at her and eventually she wastes away. And it's sort of my fault. You can't really blame yourself. You you got up could from the dead. One thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. Oh, well that helps. Thanks. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been so guide me. the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Yep. Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. Well, of course. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. So now I'm a friend. Loved ones I cherished. Am I one of those? Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries, and time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? 
St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Um... Am I even going to be able to get inside the church? I mean, I guess because there's like these crosses in the cemetery and nothing's happening. So I guess they have to be special ones. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's find... Okay. Go left-ish and just keep going straight. Left-ish. Oof. Serious in this district. Yeah, go confess about your sister's death as you butcher your way through the living to get there. My poor sister, let me murder you all. You stand in my way. And often sure she goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Yeah. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your what skin. The hell Forget are your old you? weaker self. What do you want from me? You're huge. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Um, nobody's teaching me These anything. These try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. What the heck? Okay. I, I thought he just looked weird, but... Uh, can I bite him? Guess not. This man stunned me with his faith. His crucifix. Yeah. This is not good news. I mean, it's to be expected. God, didn't you read any, like, penny vampire novels? Come on, dude. Get with it. Those creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest. As you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She All right. was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? It was an accident. A terrible, terrible accident. You gotta believe that. I see. You did not murder her. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. Yeah. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Not sure. Uh, not sure I would have fully Whatever mentioned happened that. on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. But you just what? Oh, for God's sakes. Alright, so... I need to go back to the hospital, which means I'm going to need to turn right. Get back to, I don't know. The narrative of this puts it so that you're not finding, like, loot around every corner or... Ooh, hello. 
or things like that. You're just kind of... There's a whole lot more talking, a whole lot less like, Hey, I found a hoard of loot! What? Nope. Not even gonna give you a chance, Beast Boy. Okay. Yeah, you're not finding big stash piles and hordes of loot. I mean, maybe now that it's opened up a little bit for me and I can roam a little more, I can, but for the most part, you're just finding parts. I've said it before, but this ambiance is really good. Can I get a good look at him? What's up with the horns? Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. Well, you have. This because you haven't doing. guided me. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. The land? Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. Be still, my child. I bring understanding. Well, if you could get to that part, that what would help. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. What does that even mean? I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. Okay. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity. How is that even possible? Or was he just possible? projecting this vision in my mind? It had to have been a project. It had to. Maybe have been. Edgar can help me with this one. Let's go talk to the doctor again. I can feel like I just did this. Oh, hi. Who God are you? Protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm is that Jerry? Your song. Jerry, what's up, buddy? You're a woodsman. Talk to him. Not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Uh, I don't need to hide. I can just butcher you because I'm a Even vampire. Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> I don't know if he's just, like, that kind of a humorous character oh, or if he's that naive. Bad news. bad news indeed. Yeah. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. Who, we who must restore did the attack? And quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. 
I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow. I do. Okay. Tell Back me. to Sean detective Hamilton, Reed. The man we thought we'd saved at the docks. Uh -huh. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Well, they're gonna show up. Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I I've been Mr. fighting Hampton them in here, the streets. I will put an end to this. Yeah. I started the fight, I'm gonna end it, bitches. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's um, no other place he would go but the docks. Hold on a sec, I need to evolve. Maybe. Uh, I'm also going to make some more of these. Oh, look at all those people here. So, overnight is when it goes and changes. I see who's that. Pippa Hawkins has a cold, so we'll need to fix her up. So you have to sleep before the status adjusts. I get it. Convince Xiao Xun to go back to Whitechapel. Okay, that's on my to-do list. I leveled up, got some new stuff, and then I uh, also upgraded almost all of my weapons and... Ah, oh, there she is. That I'm using. And I've got a Good new evening, stun right. offhand weapon Dr. that's Reed. a club. Um, Do you need you medical? I'm afraid... Not under my watch, no. Thank you. There we go. Goodbye. Nice Hippocratic voice. Oath. All right. Uh, whoops. Find Sean Hampton in the East End docks. Well, that allows me to bite them much quicker. Yeah. Much more damage, and that stun weapon, that new stun weapon, Allows me to bite them much quicker. God, the noises. So good. Just skulls screaming in the distance. No, oh, just people killed everywhere. Just kill them all. Doesn't matter if we know whether or not they're human. Kill them all. I don't... Like, I would help you, but I don't know where you are. Oh, there they are. Guess what? Haboom! Are you alright, sir? What are you doing in a place like this? Yeah, I'm not sure you that's any here? of your business. I hope you realize that staying here. I just saved your life! life. Risk. Bah! I'm not afraid of these guards of Prewen, or whatever these not them. call themselves. I can still kick some respect into those youngsters. How much have you been drinking? Referring to them, but. Are you really after these men? Why? They took my boy! I've had no news since he joined that crazy gang. So I decided to come and find him myself. To get some answers. I see. But as I said, your life is at risk if you stay here. And I'm not referring to the gangs either. You should leave, sir. Well, this part of town used to be... nicer, let's say. Perhaps you're right. This isn't the best way to save Andrew. It's kind of just... Any details? No. Goodbye. Citizen rescued. Okay. Looks like there's something up here that allows me to get where I want to go. Hopefully. It feels like I'm opening more and more of this world, and that allows me to take different routes. Oh, hi! It's an old story. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? 
Back to the docks, are we? You yep. remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I, I was I'm lost. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the still way. Still kind of... I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. He's healthy. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. <laughs> that would explain his faith and need to help everyone. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Oh, thanks. You actually Goodbye, told me Mr. something Bob. useful this time. All right. Okay, in we go. Another disgusting good Seems like the guard of Green is on Sean Hampton's trail. Ow. Jimmy the Spark Barlow? Yeah, watch out for their teeth. Crush the leech, boys! Ah! Oh, God! Hit him. There we go. Bite. I'm gonna need some healing here. I'm gonna need to bite some people. Ah, you and your flamethrower. Gotcha. Common pistol parabellum. Oh, come on. Ah. Really? There. That'll give me a chance to get my stamina back. Alright. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If okay. this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. Well, we kind of thought that might happen, so now I need to go outside and go to a different area. I hope I'm still recording. Like, my, my video of my webcam has frozen, so I hope everything's going alright right now. Like, it's been frozen for... Hi. My kind? My kind? What does that even mean? Golly, some people are just so rude. So I would think this would be his office, but he's not here. Well, there he is. Hi, Sean. Avoid the long face, Doctor. Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face. Really? This is a blessing for me to become a Skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Okay. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. 
There's blood on you. you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Okay. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. All right. I think it just auto-saved, which is good, because that's about where I'm going to stop this one. Very interesting. It's still... It feels kind of weird, because it, it really is more like a detective game than a healing game as much. Um, you do heal patients, and you, you have to kind of control the diseases, but you're also doing a lot of detective work trying to figure out what is going on. Which... I'm not sure if we're closer to figuring that out or not. I mean, the serpent with the iron spur? I, I don't know what my maker was even talking about. I don't know if that was a vision or if he's just, like, disembodied or if he's just, like, that much of an elder that he can just float around all ghosty-like. I don't know. We'll find out later. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.